What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a meta team for high tier master, but this time it's featuring Vaporeon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But yeah, I've been using a few off meta teams as of recently, giving you guys some fun teams to use. So I want to pull it back a little bit, bring you guys a meta team to help you guys push highest tier. And this one right here is full of meta Pokemon. And then it has Vaporeon, which Vaporeon actually gels perfectly well with this team, considering it acts as a Dantozo counter. But with that out of the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Gardevoir. And Gardevoir is just so solid up in this meta right now with the Choice Scarf and Telepathy. It just works so well with Garchomp and dealing with other Dragon Pokemon. It has Choice Scarf as item, Telepathy as ability, like we already mentioned, and then Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Psychic, and Icy Wind for a solid Choice Scarf moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be that Garchomp. Garchomp has been taken over to meta ever since this game has been released. Once Series 2 comes around, I feel like we're going to see a lot less Garchomp, but still, it's going to be pretty relevant in the meta as well. It's got Rough Skin as its ability, the Clear Amulet as item, and it's got Dragon Call, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset for any Garchomp. Third Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Mousehold over here with the Friend Guard ability, alongside with that Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Follow Me, Super Fang, Faint, and Protect for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Vaporeon, and I'm super excited to actually use this Pokemon. I have not got, the, got a chance to use this Pokemon on the rank ladder yet, so hopefully we get it out there and we can grab some wins with it. It has Water Absorb as ability, the Leftovers as item, and then Shrock Muddy Water, Haze, Yawn, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Talonflame, and Talonflame is really, really good. This one has the Life Orb as item, so this one's here to do some damage, alongside with Setup Tailwind for Speed Control. It has Gale Wings as ability, then four moves consist of Brave Bird, Fire Blitz, Tailwind, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Golden Go, another Pokemon that has just been taken over the meta. Its typing is phenomenal with Steel and Ghost, and it just has phenomenal stats all around. It has Good as Gold as its ability, the Choice Specs as item, and then it has Make It Rain, Power Gem, Thunderbolt, and Shadow Ball for an amazing Choice Specs moveset. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Vaporeon meta team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, we're going up against arguably the best team in the meta right now. We're going up against a Murkrow and Annihilate team that features Garchomp, Mousehold, Hydreigon, and Golden Go. I believe for the most part, most of the time, these teams right here lead Annihilate and Mousehold, so that is how we're going to play up against it. I feel like Tailwings or Tailwings, Tailwind, Gownflame, I, I combined Tailwind and Gale Wings on Talonflame there, but I feel like uh, Talonflame right here with Tailwind can be very, very good for helping us set up speed control for the rest of the battle. Uh, we could go Mouse Hold of our own, but then there's a problem. I mean, we could change into Ghost Typing at that point, but then it could just Rage Fist me. Hmm. Gardevoir's not too bad here either. I could also go in the Gardevoir. I got a Dick Gardevoir with Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam's not bad, or I can go into the Chomp. Chomp's not bad here either. I don't, I don't mind the Chomp, because then I can EQ. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Maybe just Terrasilize and EQ across the board. Rip it into these Pokemon. I I'm with it. I'm with it. So we're going to go with these two. I can go into Dash and Gleam. I can go into EQ without hitting Gardevoir. I feel like that's solid for us. Final two Pokemon. I definitely want my Choice Spec Golden Go. And then I got to bring my Talonflame. I got to bring Talonflame. I can set up Tailwind late game. Or I could bring in Vaporeon. Now nah, we're going to go Talonflame. We're going to go to Talonflame. Considering we're versus the meta team, I want to start off today's video with a win. Hopefully, we can get it. Hopefully, we can get it started. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves this win. But I wonder who he's going to lead. Like, it's got to be Mousehold Annihilate, right? It's always been and it always will be Mousehold Annihilate. But I feel like every single time it's Mousehold and Annihilate. All right, let's see. Hopefully not. Murkrow and Garchomp. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm all about it. He's going to go Murkrow Garchomp. I have the, the, the specs right now. I think Gleam's got to be our play. And we can just EQ or do I just Rock Slide? I think I have to slide here, especially because I'm choice spec. I could Terrasilize here as well, which I'm kind of thinking of doing. But I just don't see him doing too much with the Garchomp besides Terrasilize and maybe just EQing. Do I try Terrasilize as well? I think that's going to be my play, correct? I'm going to Terrasilize. I'm going to Terrasilize and Gleam. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I feel like he's Terrasilizing, so I'm going to Terrasilize here as well. We'll see. I could just pop the EQ, but I really want to pop the Rock Slide try to get rid of the Murkrow. Now, is that me or him? I think it's me. I think that one's me. I think that's my Chompy Chomp. 
Yeah, that's my chompy chomp. Are you trash slicing as well? Yes. Yeah, so perfect little read by us. We figured that he was trash slicing with Garchomp, probably going into a dragon loop into my Garchomp slot. Or maybe just an EQ of his own. But I feel like we should be fine here. I do have to pop an Icy Wind next turn, because he's probably setting up Tailwind. The EQ might just rip into me. We can, we can have a problem here. Murkrow's going to set up the Tailwind. He's going to freely EQ. And can Gardevoir outspeed? Does not. Dragon Call is going to fly here, and that's exactly why we Thrasalize right there. That is exactly why we Thrasalize. Garchomp's going to take some uh, rough skin damage and some life orb damage with solid here. Gleam is going to bring Murkrow down to killing damage, and Rock Slide should be able to finish it off. All right, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not too bad. So what I could do here is actually just protect my Garchomp and Icy Wind. Which I'm kind of feel, feel like should be my play. Actually, I'm choice. I cannot switch it. And Golden Ghost is going to be a problem. I mean, I, feel, I think it's just protecting here. Because once... if the, I'm hoping my uh, Gardevoir can drop out here. <clears throat> I'm hoping my Gardevoir can die out here. And if my Gardevoir does die out here... Then I just bring in my, uh, my what's it called, no problem. I'm going to withdraw Golden Ghost. That's a little weird. That's definitely a little weird. You're going to send out Hydreigon. Okay, that's really weird. It's really weird. You got to be EQing, right? You got to be EQing. Now, if my Gardevoir dies, again, I can just set up a Tailwind next turn and kind of take speed control from him. But EQ is going to fly through. I think this should take out my Gardevoir. I'm not too sure. I don't mind if it doesn't. Then I could just play it from there. But we'll see. Did I take out my Guardy? Yeah, it thumps on my Guardy. Guardy we're out for the count. But yeah, now I can bring out Talonflame. And I think... Is Garchomp faster? My Garchomp's pretty fast, right? Let me see Garchomp. Where you at, Garchomp? 169. Yeah, I think you're faster than all of them. I mean, I could swap you in. I have Golden Go in the back end, which I really like just to be choiced up. And I'm going to set up a Tailwind. I mean, Speed Control is our friend here. So from here, I could just pop a Dragon Call, which I really want to, but I could definitely see Hydreigon maybe protecting, so I'm just going to get rid of his Garchomp. I'm not dealing with his Garchomp. I'm not dealing with it. I know my Garchomp outspeeds his Garchomp. We proved it last turn with Thrasalization, and he did protect the Hydreigon, so that was a perfect little, little call from us. That's what I was thinking in my head. I was just like, okay, Garchomp is not going to double protect. Hydreigon has a chance of protecting. Might as well target down this Garchomp slot. Works out perfectly for us. So Talonflame comes in the back end. Bang, bang. Sets up that Tailwind. We have speed for pretty much the rest of the battle. I think that's wraps. I think that's wraps. Because I can Flare Blitz straight into Golden Go whenever I want to finish that off. Dragon Call should be able to do a huge chunk of damage on the Hydreigon. And I think their Tailwind ends, right? Correct. Show me that's correct. Either, either way, my Pokemon outspeed, so it do not matter. It do not matter. And I think they have one more turn left in Tailwind. No, GG's. GG's. It was well played. It was a well played game. I'm just going to Dragon Call. Flare Blitz is going to fly out here right into the Golden Go slot. And he's going to say in here, I have Life Orb on this, so this should KO. Yeah, no problem. It's no problem. It's no problem. Talonflame rocks, dude. I love Talonflame. One of, one of the coolest regional birds out there. And so strong competitively. I love it. But Flare Blitz gets rid of the Golden Goat. Dragon Call flying out here. Oh, this thing's got the Dragon Berry. He's playing no games. He's playing no games. Lovely. The Haban Berry. You don't see that. You, don't, you do not see that too often. Haban Berry coming out here. But now you're going to have to go up against my strongest Pokemon, Choice Spec Golden Go. And I get to choose what move I want to kill you with. So I'm sorry, kind Hydreigon, you are dead. And I'm probably choosing a uh, Shadow Ball here, correct? Makes the most sense. Actually, I hate how they haven't fixed that yet. It says it's super effective, but it's not super effective. It's only super effective on the dead Pokemon. I hate how they haven't fixed that yet. So make it rain. It's going to be neutral. So I'm just going to go make it rain here. And... I'm just going to drop probably Brave Bird. Yeah, Brave Bird's neutral as well. That's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. I see Brave Bird just finishing this off. I don't even think we need a Golden Go. I don't even think we need a Golden Go. But solid battle from us. We read the Thrasalization turn one. That really set us up in a good position. And then we were able to actually read the Protect from Hydreigon and take out the Garchomp without taking any damage. Everything worked out perfectly. We were able to set up Tailwind, get it for it that way. Everything's fine. Everything's great. I mean, even if he, like, constantly protects and wastes out Tailwind, I'm just going to set up Tailwind again. <laughs> like, my, my, my Talon Flame is 10 times faster than you. So it's just like, what are you doing here? And I know my, my, my boy Golden Go can finish this off in one shot. Land it, don't protect. Get this out of here. Get, get out of my face with that. Is Tailwind gone? Did I take away Tailwind? 
Or do we still have one more turn? We might have one more. Double protects landing. It's wild. That one's gone. So guess what I'm gonna do? Set up another one. I <laughs> might as well, right? I'm faster. You, you're definitely faster, right? Oh my god, yeah. Why, why would I even look? Why would I even look? Make it rain. Tailwind. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. You gotta protect four more turns? Doubt it. Highly doubt it. Tailwind speeds on our side. Make it rain with the choice specs. How'd you gotta get on out here? You stand no chance. Was a valiant effort though. I'll give it I'll give it to our opponent. That was a great effort there. We take match number one. We're sitting one and out. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back. What a solid match to get this video started, but we're hopping into our second battle, and we're looking like we have some trouble. We're going up against a Don Dozo and Tasugiri team, which means Vaporeon's getting some loving in this battle. We're going to be bringing it in the back end. It is our Don Dozo counter for this team with that haze. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. They also have Miascarada, Golden Go, Bax Caliber, and Full Corona. Who should I lead here? I do like Tal Talonflame for speed control and just for straight up attacking because it's strong all around. So I think I'm going to lead Talonflame in this battle. Hmm. And who should I, who else should I lead here? Golden Go is not bad here either. I do like Golden Go because Golden Go can do some work onto Don Dozo with just Thunderbolt straight up. So I do like him as well. But I'm thinking going here and Garchomp. I mean, I can Terrasalize and pop EQs freely. I'm kind of all about it. Kind of all about it. So I'm going to go with them too. I am going to bring Vaporeon in here. And then I'm leaning a bit more towards Golden Go in the back end. Golden Go just has so many good coverage moves. I'm really liking it. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to go back to back for you guys. But yeah. I've been working very hard on this uh, on YouTube. Obviously, you guys see me consistently upload every day. Just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has been supporting me, subscribing, all that. But we have members coming out very, very soon. The members are basically like subscribers on Twitch. You guys pay monthly for rewards and to support me a little bit extra. So super excited to be bringing you guys out there. I cannot wait to get some members on my channel. But uh, it's going to leave Volcarona and, and Miascarada. I think Tailwind is just simple play. And I really don't want to change to this. Or a ground typing. I think I just drop a rock here, right? A rock slizzle. Makes the most sense. I mean, he could pop a trick room. Ooh. Good. Bad. That could be bad. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That could be bad. Maybe we shouldn't have set up the tailwind, but I feel like we just had to. I should just brave bird it. I, I really should just brave bird it. But I really do think a, a trick room shouldn't come out here. But I don't know if our opponents, opponents uh, that good to, to pull this move off. Let's see. So I'm, I'm gonna tell him. Setting up that speed, baby. Rock slide's gonna come in hot. Who dodging it? Who's dodging this? Who dodging it? Let it hit Volcarona. Cool, it hits Volcarona. Cool. Of course, it doesn't hit Ma Miascarada. And no, as soon as it pops straight flower track, I'm cool with that. This is exactly why I didn't terrestrial size, because we can eat up that shot. Volcarona is gonna go for Struggle Bug and drops. Special attack, right? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. Right? It drops special attack? Correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm physical. I'm physical all day. So from here, uh, let's see who he has in the back end. Because I can either go in the Brave Bird or Flare Blitz. And I think Flare Blitz might be a better play from us. Just in case he wants to like, be swapped into Golden Go for some reason. So I'm just going to go Brave Bird. Because I'm pretty sure they're the same. Yeah, they are the same, just different typing. This could also cause a, a burn. But yeah, I'm going to go into Flare Blitz. Lovely little Flare Blitz. We're going to go Flare Blitz. And we're just going to Rock Slide down again. Just in case the Miascarada is Sash, which a lot of them are. He's just gonna protect. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't mind it. I really don't. I really don't mind it. I don't mind that either. I don't mind that either. So he sees what turns I'm doing. I might have to switch it up now. I might have to go into a Brave Bird instead. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Brave Bird Rock Slide. But I could Terrasize here. I could. I could if I want to. I could Terrasize here. But I feel like we have such an upper hand right now. If he swaps, we're just getting off free damage. And the Pokemon that I think he has in the back end are going to be Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. It just makes the most sense. So I, I'm going to switch it over to Brave Bird just in case he wants to swap to Don Dozo. I'm just going to pop the Rock Slide because I think Volcarona stays on the field no matter what. Yeah, I don't mind it. I would love to get off another Tailwind later in the match. He's going to Rage Powder. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, that actually gives it another turn because Talonflame's going to go beforehand. And then Talonflame's going to hit up here. I'm going to take out there. So that was actually a really smart Rage Powder there. I think he gets off another flower trick and kind of rolls out from there. Okay, cool. I do not mind. I do not mind. Rockside's gonna fly. Can we get off a flinch? A flinch would be huge. Nice slowly flinch. Nope, flower trick comes in here. And that takes me out. So now the real question is 
Do we go into Vaporeon now? I feel like Vaporeon now is a solid play. Vaporeon. Is it, if he has Tatsugiri or Dandozo, it's going to come out. Well, one of them's going to come out now. And we're going to see what's happening. So Vaporeon coming out here. Love you, little vapes. Love you, vapes. He's going to throw out Excalibur. Okay, I don't mind Excalibur. Because from here, I can constantly... Mm, I have an odd feeling he's protecting, correct? I'm just gonna protect you. I'm just gonna yawn this slot. He has to protect me, Ascarada. You have to. He's gonna protect me, Ascarada, and then go into a what's it called? Some sort of move to actually KO my uh Palafin, correct? Yeah, cool. Great read from us. Beautiful, lovely read from us. I could swap Talonflame this turn if I want to. But I'm gonna be able to get off this yawn. He's gonna go after my Talonflame, and we just made a Perfect read, I feel like, right? No, you're going after Vaporeon? Okay, Vaporeon needs, which I, which I, I do. I get some leftovers HP. Plus, Backscalibur goes to sleep next turn. I might just protect the Vaporeon here. Tailwind's gone. Ah, uh, do you still outspeed? You have to, right? You have to still outspeed. I'm just gonna throw Fireblitz in the slot. I feel like I just protect you, right? Correct? I should protect Vaporeon here. Protect the Vaporeon. I think Talonflame still outspeeds. Yep, cool. So we finally get rid of this Miascarada, and they do not have... They do not have... What's it called, though? Bandozo or Tatsugiri. And we're going to hope Backscalper goes after Vaporeon again, which could be nice, because then I can set up Tailwind for the rest of the gang. And now we go straight after Talonflame. Okay, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. Considering we have Backscalibur going to sleep. No problem. That thing's night-night. Close your eyes. Take some night quill. We have leftovers helping us out a little bit. And we're going to get to see his final Pokemon. There it is. That's a big time night-night. No Lumberry, please. No Lumberry. Thank you. All right, cool. No Lumberry. So we have Golden Go. Two Pokemon left. We get the choice into whatever move we feel is the best. So Golden Go comes out here. We do not have speed now. But again, we have Backscalibur sleep, which is huge. It's going to go... We scarf Tasugiri. A little weird, but I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Um, Shadow Ball might be our best play. Tasugiri is really scaring me. Uh, hmm. I think we have the straight up choice in, in Shadow Ball here, right? Get some stab damage. Wait, I still have Terrasalization, don't I? What's my Terror type? Straight Steel. I could do that. I really want to do that, but. Does Steel really do anything for us? Yeah, I definitely want choice in the Shadow Ball here. Go after you. What's your Terror type? Straight Fire. Might as well use a Terror, right? Might as well use a Terrasalization here. He's going to Terror as well. Might as well Terror. Let's see what typing he's going to Terror into. He's going to Terror the back caliber Into what? It's Steel. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I think I stayed with uh, ghost typing. I'm gonna terrasize as well, right into fire. I just think we get more value off of that than just terrasizing into steel. I like to have this ghost typing here. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. He gets to go for. Oh no way! Awesome! I got water absorbed. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. He might be choice in Muddy Water. That could be huge for us. Get some HP back here. Shadow Ball is going to fly here. Come on now. That ain't cool. That's not cool one bit. That's not cool. That's not cool. That is not cool. That is not cool. Not cool whatsoever. Uh, We have to, go, we have to keep going after that Tatsugiri. We're going to hope that this thing is asleep another turn. And I'm just going to Shadow Ball this slot. And just Muddy Water. Right? Yeah, Muddy Water's my play. Goes for another Muddy... Oh, dude, he might be choosing that. We might want to keep this Pokemon alive. This could be good for us. This could be real good for us. He's going to start Glade Rushing me. He's going to hope that he wakes up here. Can my Shadow Ball land? What is going on? What is going on? Good thing gold. I think I my golden go just got no value. My golden goes dead after this, right? Sixty-two damage. 
I'm dead after that. Dude, my golden goat just got nothing going for it. I think he's choosing a muddy water, so you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep muddy watering. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I didn't get off one shadow ball. Bruh. Out my face with that. He wakes up, he's gonna glaive rush me. Did did, did we did we dodge that? That's huge. That is okay. Yo, what is going on? His accuracy's down. But that that actually there's like reasonings for this. There is reasonings for this. I know I can eat up a glaive rush. Actually, we might not be able to now that we terrored. But this is ridiculous. He's choice in muddy water. If we get rid of this back caliber, we win this game. But I don't know if we can eat up a glaive rush now that we're fire typing. Oh my god, accuracy's down, yo. <laughs> what? What is happening? Okay, that, that just evened out the board. I think we won this battle. We can just slow play it. This is wild. This is absurdly wild. I missed two Shadow Balls. He misses two Glaive Rushes. I mean, him missing two Glaive Rushes is just... It's not really RNG. I mean, we have his accuracy down. I mean, maybe it should have landed one Glaive Rush, but... Their accuracy was dropped. My accuracy was pure. It was pure. And let me see this thing right here. Where are you at, Golden Go? Might be revoked from ever using this move ever again. And I can't even check out its... That's what I hate about this. You can't even check out its, uh, like, stats. I want to see what the accuracy was on that. I'm pretty sure it's, like... It's high, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's really high. But I'm just gonna keep Muddy Water in. And they just cancel battle. Awesome. Water Absorb Vaporeon clutches up match number two. Final match coming at you guys, and I'm so happy that I got to showcase Vaporeon in that second match. But we have just been going up against straight meta teams, and nothing is changing here in match number three. Going up against a Garchomp and Hydreigon team with Amoongus, Mousehold, Annihilate, and Murkrow. Mousehold, Annihilate, most prominent lead. So I kind of want to play up against that. Kind of want to go into my choice Scarf Gardevoir and my Garchomp. It just seems like the best lead up against those two, and we can really roll strong with that. Uh, final two Pokemon, kind of want Talonflame in that back end, considering Talonflame is just an absolute monster. And I love this Pokemon. But then my final Pokemon, I really don't know who I should go into. Vaporeon's not bad here, but I feel like Golden Goat just gets more value, right? It seems like the play. Like, I'm looking to win with this team right now, because c considering this is a meta high tier master tier team. So I just want to showcase the power of it. We already got Vaporeon out in there in match number two. Got to showcase it pretty well. Got the yawn. Got to use some muddy waters. All that good stuff. But yeah, I'm trying to showcase this team for you guys to push master. Because that's what I like to do on the channel. I, I like to use some off meta teams. Have some fun with it. And then when I use my meta teams, I like to showcase them for you guys. So you guys can rent them and actually use them to their fullest potential. And push high tiers. And learn the game a lot better. Because you guys know, if you guys been playing Pokemon competitive while, well, if you guys are not really using the meta, you are probably losing to the meta. Like, <laughs> there's no in between. He's going to end up going into these two. I do not really mind that. Uh, I think I had to terrestrialize, right? Obviously, I want to I want choice into a Gleam here. I definitely want choice into a Gleam. And I definitely want terrestrialize here. And I'm just going to Rock Slide across the board. Just so I get rid of the Murkrow turn one. I don't feel like dealing with like foul plays from Murkrow. All that good stuff. But he is going to be able to set up a Tailwind here. I'm really surprised. This is our... Second time versus Annihilate and Mouseholds. And second time them not leading. Like... I think every time before this, it was always Mousehold Annihilate. Mousehold Annihilate. Every single time. But I don't really mind this lead. I mean, we forced him to Thrasilize, and I probably should Thrasilize myself, and I think I just forgot for my Garchomp. Which kind of sucks. Oh, no, that's me. Cool. So I am going to Thrasilize. Right? That's me, correct? Yeah, okay. Good thing I did Thrasilize. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Because if I forgot, I feel like a Draco Meteor or a Dragon Pulse is just flying into my Garchomp slot. And then we're dead. Because we know he's going to take speed with the Tailwind. It's pretty obvious. And yeah, there's the Terrasalization switch. We're going to hope that it's fire. Hopefully it's not steel. That's what I'm hoping. It's fire. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. I like that a lot. Because if it was steel, then it can just legit rip into my uh, Bardvor and at the same time uh, eat up all my Garchomp shots. But he's going to end up snarling. Fancy. Fancy little snarl. Special attack's gonna get dropped. And, oh, and Rock Slide is super effective on the him now, which is huge. If I can land this Rock Slide, we get rid of the Murkrow, and we get off some big time damage on the Hydreigon. Of course, we're missing attacks all day today. Murkrow dodges that. Okay, we hit up on Hydreigon. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So from here, we're just gonna Gleam again. And I'm just gonna Rock Slide again. Gives me no reason not to. Heat Wave coming in here. Oh, one of us dodging that. Awesome. Who's dodging that? 
Who's dodging that? Quick question. Ooh, Garchomp dodged it and Gardevoir eats. That's big. I don't mind the burn on that Pokemon. It's a special attacker. I'm fine with that. Murkrow's gonna go for a foul play. Does way too much damage. <laughs> Little Murkrow bird does way too much damage. Glean's gonna fly here. We'll pick up the KO on the Murkrow. And can I land this Rock Side, please? If I land this Rock Side, we can say bye bye to Hydra. And then I can get out my Talon Flame once one of these Pokemon dies and take Speed Control for the rest of the battle. Thank you, Garchomp. I love you. So my play probably here is to just protect Garchomp. Right? Protect Garchomp, let Gardevoir die out, and then set up speed, and then have one last EQ with a Terrasalize Garchomp go out before we uh, do lose to Garchomp. That just seems like the best play. And we're sitting on such a good position. We've been playing really good today, making some great calls, great reads, great Terrasalization. And I feel like I'm finally gelling over with Scarlet and Violet. Because I remember in the beginning when I was playing it, like, Terrasalization would always throw me off. But now that you start to remember, like, what Pokemon has certain Terrasalite types, like, used most frequently, you start to, like, learn what they're going to go into and, like, just read them pretty pretty easily. But, yeah, I'm just going to Gleam here. There's no Terrasalization, and I'm just going to Protect. I am just Protecting. Easy Protect on the Chomp. I doubt he follow me I think just Pop Bomb's going to come out here. No, Beat Ups. Beat Ups to try to take out my Garchomp. Okay. And a Rock Side, maybe? Yeah, Rock Slide. Yeah, solid, solid turn. He is going to take out Gardevoir. Again, that was my whole plan. I did not mind if I lost my Gardevoir here. Because now I just bring out my lovely little Talon Flame. Get to bring out the lovely Talon Flame. Actually, Mouse Hole might be faster than my Garchomp. But that's what I'm hoping, just to set up the Tailwind. Get off an EQ. Get off some big damage. And even if, say, he outspeeds me. I'll have speed the next turn and I can legit just rip into all these Pokemon with what I have. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to go into an EQ. Let's run it. Run it up, baby. Run it up. And the reason I am going into an EQ rather than a Dragon Call into the Garchomp slot is just in case the mouse hold wants to go for the follow of me. And plus, I'm terrored into ground. I'm going to do a lot more damage with this EQ, especially hitting two Pokemon. And it's free right now that I have Talonflame on the slide. On the side. I, I love Talonflame. Talonflame's so good. It's so good. Especially with Life Orb. It hits really hard. The Talonflame's gonna get set up. Mouse gonna outspeed. And we should be able to eat that up. It should only go twice, right? Correct? Yes, it only goes twice. Because it goes by how many Pokemon they have in a party. Rockside's coming out here. Someone dodge it. Please be my Garchomp. It was my Garchomp. Huge, huge dodge. I feel like missed attacks have been all, all day today. This whole video. But now their Tailwind ends, it's GG's. It's GG's. It's game set match. Game set match. EQ should do a ridiculous amount of damage right here. Bringing down the Garchomp to yellow. Bringing down the Mouse Hole to yellow. And their Tailwind's gone. So I mean, EQ is free right now. And I can just make it rain. So whichever one of my Pokemon hits, it's going to be a double kill. Game set match. Bring out the Golden Go. Choice it into make it rain. Keep EQ's flying, even though it's in my Mouse Hold. And I think our opponent just cancels battle, correct? Makes the most sense, but maybe he wants to hang on here. The last thing about EQ, it doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. EQ is one of the strongest moves in all of Pokemon. Always has been, and I think it always will be, especially for double battles. But our opponent does end up canceling the battle, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect record with this Vaporeon team. In all honesty, this team right here was one of the best teams I used on the Master Tier. It just flowed perfectly, and I feel like it was very easy to play if you know about the meta Pokemon. Because you got Talonflame, who is super simple to play. You can set up Talonflames easily, first turn priority with the Galewings. Hits like a truck with the Brave Bird and Flare Blitz. You have the Garchomp and Gardevoir, which I think is an amazing combo with Telepathy on the Gardevoir. And then Garchomp could just freely pop EQs. You also have the Choice Scarf on the Gardevoir, so it's a great lead for outspeeding Pokemon. Then you got the Golden Go for just back end support with the Choice Specs. Big Pori on a Mouse Hold. Work perfectly on this team and gel around all these guys but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody